So we've all arrived at Great Yarmouth Beach um, and Pierre, there is a huge massive wheel just down there I don't know if you guys can see it but you will get to see it a little bit later on but we're just going to cross over to the arcades and have a little look to see what this place has to offer Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him What's happened here? It's on the edge, is it? Yeah. yeah. So what's happened? His mum went to go and get him. Can I open it up, yeah? Cool. So, me and Sean are going to have a competition to get the high score on Down the Cloud. Leave the comments down below. Who do you think will win, me or Sean? It's got to be me. But we've all won the pair, so Caleb and Sean are together, Logan and Dion are together, me and Stephanie are together. And I thought we should do this before baby comes, so when baby comes, we're not going to get much time together. Yeah, so we've got to spend as much time together as we possibly can. So let the competitive game begin. <laughs> And that is uh, this one here. So yeah, def definitely come here. This is a really good arcade. I'm gonna walk a little bit further down, and probably pick up some food a little bit further down here. But there's like stacks and stacks of arcades as you walk further down. So there's lots of the kids to do. And I'm getting drawn vibes. I feel like I need to get me drawn up. I don't know why, but I just feel. Yeah. Yeah, so I've got to put the drawn up as well because that'll be pretty good. Looks quite scenic a little bit further down. So there's a pleasure park here as well, isn't it? There is, yeah. Yeah, there is, isn't it? But it's closed, unfortunately. Yes, Logan? Um, it's okay. It's shop I gave you. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. you give me the change of money and we'll count for it. Yeah, we can do that for you. So these two pencil sheets have got £5 notes. So the children in the last arcade have put £4 in trying to hit £5. But there's one here that we just walked past and it's like on the edge of the corner. It's like, I'm gonna go get a bag. <laughs> yeah, they've been lured in by this five pound hanging on the edge. Check this out. Just literally down from there. How you guys could probably get it? Yeah. Work, to get, work together, you'll get it. So we're just gonna go down to the beach and have a little look at the beach. Um, I think the big wheel has turned off. I don't think it's taking any customers at the moment. We did get down here a little late as well. But um, Yarmouth, it's quite nice down Yarmouth. And we've never been before. There's also a slingshot I see over there as well. I think I'm going to put the drone up because it looks so pretty. So I'll catch you guys in a moment after I put the drone up.
little rest on Great Yarmouth Beach. What a beautiful beach, just so picturesque. Really, really nice. The sand's so soft as well, and it's quite a big beach actually. Quite, quite a popular beach as well. We're just sitting here, taking in the scenery for five. It's been such a beautiful day. And I can feel the sun on my They also have a Wellington bowling here as well, so if you fancy having a game of bowling with the family. We've seen some cool arcades now, we're we'll popping there on the way back up. But Steph, uh, not Stephanie, Dion was saying that bowling's more winter. Why is bowling more winter? Because it's like an inside activity, like you know what I mean? Like yeah. It's a thing to do inside, and then when it's like summer and stuff, you kind of want to do activities that are outside, like yeah. on the rides or whatever. Yeah, I, I get that, I get that. Um, talking about rides, there is the... Great Yarmouth Pleasure Park down here, which looks really cool. Um, and I'm not too sure if I've already mentioned it, but I think it's only open on certain days. What days is it open on, Stephanie? The, the Pleasure Park? Friday. The Pleasure Park, what days is it open on? Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday. Wednesday and Saturday and Sunday. So if you really want to get the most out of your trip, I'd recommend coming on a Wednesday, Saturday or Sunday. It might change in the summer though. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like but if you're currently watching this video at this time, um, check the date. And they've also got a little model village here as well. Look at this. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this. A little modeling village. It's just like loads of models. It's cool. Like, I think it goes right far back over there. Quite a distance. But that's just here yeah, if you eat that sort of stuff. And it looks like. They've got one of Great Yarmouth's best loved family attractions, so that's what it looks like inside. Looks pretty cool actually, yeah? So we're just walking past Yarmouth's Great Pleasure Beach, or Great Yarmouth's Pleasure Beach, I say. Uh, it looks really cool, doesn't it? We're going to have to book some tickets online next time, come down. I know, it looks what do you really think? good. Yeah, for definite. The waterlog looks good as well. Is that part of it, is it? Yeah, the waterlog over here is a uh, part of it. Man. I'll show you guys that in just a moment. Keep and walking, Caleb, please. Also, apparently, it's not fresh water, it's sea water they use. Is it also? It's not yeah. have to pay for it. <laughs> I've probably got like, a pipe going out to see, but I'll just show you that now. Like, some good drops on it as well, by the looks of it. Uh, here it is. Oh. Three drops, I think. Three drops, yeah? Three They've yeah. also got like a wooden roller coaster in the actual park as well, haven't they? Yeah, they've got quite a few things. Yeah, it's quite a few rides there for the kids. Um, <laughs> we're just heading back up. We just well, came to have a walk because we were planning on going in for it, but we didn't check the dates, so we thought we'd come walk down and have a look to see what it looked like. But we'll come back and we'll probably do it another time. So if anybody knows me, you know that I can eat pass a good old gift shop. So we've stopped at the Come Have A Look gift shop. I'm gonna see if we can get any souvenirs from our little holiday. So this is the little shop here. The children are looking at some stuff. Oh, I used to love going away and getting tattoos and stuff. And they've also got these cool little Friends Forever bracelets. Yeah, there should be some prices. Just kind of a look. Okay, I don't know. It just looks nice. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh, we need to try these. I never tried one. What is it? A water gun? Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to any more pools though. After this, we're going to be going to the uh, Peak District. Oh, yeah, you're looking for a, a, a Yarmouth one, are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. on the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> Our fridge being so small, you're not going to get, many get it now, you know, are you? <laughs> yeah, maybe just put them back at home. So, we just came out the gift shop. Dion got a octopus, so this is happy. And then you turn it around, upside down, or inside out. And, and that's I sad. sad. I need to turn, see a sad face, get a face and that Sad, and then... Happy. <laughs> cool. But these are trending all over TikTok, Dion yeah. said. Also, what's trending all over TikTok is. Oh, that's so satisfying. 
puppets. I like the toys, but a puppet each. Pretty oh, cool. Got. How much did you pay for them each? Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Each. Oh, not too bad. Them like. No, not bad. Not bad at all. And I also got a pencil that said great you me. Uh, oh, did you? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess something that said I was checking out the postcards and stuff, but I was like, I've already got it all on my drone and I've got it on my on my camera because we're YouTubers, you know, we're yeah. doing vlogs and stuff. It's different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Nowadays. Yeah, it is different. The trends are changing, aren't they? Every day. Yeah. Right. But I had to get something that said like great you me, so <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got the world's famous fish and chips. And apparently, you said they're the best fish and chips in Yarmouth. Did you say that? I just called it that. All oh, right, okay, so yeah. I did say a couple of people eating it down on the pier before. So. Well, if anybody's eating from here, let us know if it's any good. We're just walking a little further up, just looking at some restaurants. And the kids are saying, can we just go to KFC? I was like, come on, we've got to do something a bit more different than KFC. <laughs> but I think we'll end up at KFC at the end. Yeah, I think, I think we will. For the takeaway, but it's closed. Yeah, well, there's the prices over here. It looks pretty good. Pretty good in price as well. Check this out. There's all the prices here. Not too expensive. You've also got a few pubs further up here. You've got the marina just over there. And then you've got the break and smack just there. So that looks pretty okay. I would probably have popped by for a pint. I wasn't on my way back, but I'll be driving in the next 15 minutes, so I'm not gonna bother. I'll probably have something when we get back to camp a little bit later on. But yeah, there's two nice little local pubs that have some nice beer gardens. We've got another set of old kids here. So in the end, we found we decided to all stop by for the KFC uh, because everywhere else was just closing up for the night. It's about quarter to nine, isn't it? There was nowhere else to open to actually take any orders. The pizza place just closed just as we stood up next to the door, didn't it? We were like, oh no, nightmare. But anyways, we've got some food. We're not bothered, I'm not complaining. And we've done 16 inch pizzas as well. Did they? Pretty big, pretty big. But tell you what, I'm just happy for KFC as I would be for pizza. The children are happy, huh? Yeah. Nice yeah. Look good. Um, can I take one bubble gum, please? Yeah. Is this a normal coat? Yeah. Look at all the different flavours. So look, Kayla's wearing for bubble gum. Jan's going for Can't marshmallow. Mm -hmm. What? No, your lips are going to be blue. What one are you going for, sir? I am, sir. Have you made your mind up yet? Thank you. Thank you. Salt caramel. Salt caramel. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to two different flavours. Oh, you mixed it up, are you? <laughs> one for you, one for the baby. <laughs> Sanitizers on there, guys. When you sanitize yourselves up, the lady's wearing gloves and anyways, but we should clean your own hands. Are you going for the slush log in here? Yeah. Blue candy floss looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it does look good. That. So this is where we came. I think it's the Shake Shock. Uh, pretty good. Let's have a look. What did you get? That looks like it's going to put you to sleep tonight. That looks so good. Nice. Pretty good, yeah. So the ice cream place, the Shake Shack, is just opposite the Gold Rush. So if you come, you park at the top. You can get a really nice ice cream, and they're open quite late as well. Aren't I know. They? Yeah. What's it? About nine o'clock now. Yeah. It's also called the donut spot as well. If you, if shake you, shack. yeah, well, there's a shake shack inside. They do donuts, they do slushes, they do ice cream. Yeah, well, on everything. the other side, I think they do like food and stuff as well, like other stuff like chips and stuff. Large cotton chips I can see down there. But yeah. Yeah, I just want an Instagram picture. Oh, you want an Instagram picture? I want an Instagram picture. <laughs> 
is mine. So let's go on here, you guys all have a little taste of each of us. Yeah. Caleb says, Mum, I'll let baby try some. So I had a little lick of his and he goes, Can I have a taste of yours? <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky. How is your slush Logan? Nice. Is it nice? Nice and cold, yeah, helps up the sunburn, doesn't it? Yeah. Dion, what, what flavour do you go for? Sorry, Logan, what were you going to say? My arms are freezing cold because of this. My fingers. Yeah. And what one did you go for, Dom? Marshmallow. Oh, you did? I actually recorded that, didn't I? Did I not? I think the Sean's didn't record. What did you get? Salt caramel. Salt caramel. Probably my choice as well. So guys, we're going to end the vlog here. It's going to be a separate video in itself. Um, we're going to head back over to our Haven holiday site. Up at Wild Duck. Um, it's been an absolute great seaside front to come and visit. Brilliant. You can uh, spend the full day here. There's yeah, so much to do. We didn't do everything, but it's definitely something you can come back and do twice. So if you are planning to come down, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays are the best days to come down um, to do the pleasure park. But we'll catch everybody up, all of our subscribers, in the next Family Batista vlog. As always, be yourself, be different. Good night.